there's no better place than Barnfest. <laughs>
I started coming, I think, Barn Fest 4 or 3. We played our first Barn Fest, I think it was it was two years ago, but it was uh, Barn Fest 2. That was our first Barn Fest, and uh, I just thought it was a beautiful thing. How many has it been? Five? Yeah, yeah, I think this so, is number yeah. five. Yeah, it's been five Barn Fests. That's crazy. Yeah, dude. It's awesome, though. It started as just a... Uh, as a networking thing for bands uh, in the area, in the Midwest, to get each other gigs in other cities, but uh, people started bringing their friends, fans started coming, we started getting bigger bands that wanted to play it. Our friends were like, hey, you have a really awesome space here, we should throw a show. Me and Adam talked for years, we tried throwing shows for other bands. You know, literally we've been practicing here for the last eight years and we decided to play our first show as a band and do the original four band lineup and it's just growing from there. One stage turned into two, and, uh, I mean, a hundred people turned into however many are here today. I haven't even checked, but we're not even, we're only halfway through the day. And we've already, we've already tripled what we've done at past barn fest. Yeah, it's insane. Every year it gets bigger, and every barn fest it just gets more and more awesome. And sure. I'm just so glad that we got to be a part of it. We got the spiral green pizza with, uh, so that's going to be a Greek yogurt marinara base with uh, kale, garlic, and onion in the middle. So top of that, and we're gonna have crumbled cheese on top, and a spiral of green pepper and a red pepper. And then we have our baked uh, Italian. So that's gonna have chicken baked in marinara sauce with peas and zucchini, topped with crumbled. <laughs> I think people love Barn Fest because, well, one, it's a relaxed atmosphere. You get to camp, it's BYOB, you don't have to worry about venue fees or anything like that. It's a complete relaxed experience. It's completely do it yourself. It's not like a venue, you're not waiting backstage, you're not waiting for the bands, or you, there's no separation. The bands are with the people that did it. It's all do it yourself. Everyone, they just do it themselves. It's, it's a $3 donation. Like, if you don't have the $3, like, if you're that broke and you just want to enjoy music with your friends, you don't have to. You don't even have to pay. You don't have to pay. It's, everything is just, everything is just free. Uh, the money just goes towards Barn Fest. We uh, bought wood for the stages that we built with money from uh, past Barn Fests. Uh, we built, you know, like we said, the, uh, like I said, the second stage. Uh, that wood actually came from Mitch's backyard. <laughs> but the wood that we used to reinforce wildcard stage after Barn Fest 5, there were like six holes put in it. I, I think there is um, an incredible energy and power in live music performance. Like it is. Um, a real exchange of emotion and so I think for the bands you know they get a, a great audience it's very receptive and they get to share sort of that um, creative process and that creative energy. I guess what we're trying to do is um, put, put the bands that aren't noticed out there as well as um, uh, show people that no matter what genre you play uh, we can all get along and play the same gigs and uh, all have a good time with all different kinds of people. The, the amount 
the uh, different kinds of people that come to Barnfest is is absolutely insane. Make it a place for this local scene to be open and just have a peaceful day, just to hang out and a, kind of a band networking. Just this is the perfect place for bands to get to meet, and get to talk to one another, and set things up. Our crew has been built by the bands that have played and have wanted to be involved, and the people. And it's just led to so much. I mean, people are now releasing albums here, doing farewell shows, reunion shows. It's just growing into such a big thing. It's beautiful. Probably my favorite part is just giving everyone high fives. Yeah. Because everyone I see today, like, I can't, you know, sometimes there's just not time to have a huge conversation with everyone, but the high fives... <laughs> are always the best at barn fest. And then there's the, the occasional the hugs that you can give. There's some yeah. kids, mostly from Alton, Illinois, and they love their hugs. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Hugs, mm -hmm. so. Well, you know, I just love, just like since barn fest too, like I didn't really know anybody. Mm -hmm. I was kind of sitting around some of it, but like now, like there's just so many friends and like, like the bands are awesome, but like we know all these people. Yeah. It's just like such a great like friendship that we have with everybody. And like, that's awesome. Like mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah, it's always great to like just know that you know if there's just a ton of sh just shit that you're dealing with, you know that when you come to Barnfest, you can you, just leave it, and you're and friends with everyone. Yeah, because uh, it's so cheap. <laughs> you pay three bucks and you get to see thirty bands for for as long as you want. You know, you can stay or you can go. You can camp. You can stay the night. You can party uh, in, into the into the night hours if you want. Uh, it's just a it's just a good time. It's just one big party. The first time we ever played here uh, at Barn Fest 2, uh, it rained like 20 minutes before our set. So just everybody who was out came into the barn and crowded in for our set. We played really early in the day. Um, and it was just, it was fun to get it out of the way and then watch all the other bands wow. who had played. What's going on, dude? Who uh, have, uh, who were there the previous Barn Fest when it was just like a party with their friends. And then, you know, they invited us and then it's just a big, friendly party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really wanted to see all these bands. What better way to see all these bands than to make a really nice festival and all, at the same time? You know, I'm sure a lot of people out there want the same thing. So. And we just, we never thought that, you know, this little festival that our buddies threw would just turn into this huge event that envelops right. the entire St. Louis and Illinois scene. For the future, you're just going to have to hang around and find out. we got a lot of really, really good ideas for next year. Um, probably going to be expanding a little on the property, doing a little rehabbing, etc. because it's getting to the point. Um, today we're pretty full, so I mean, we're getting to the point where we're going to need more parking and everything. Uh, make more room for people to camp, uh, more room for people to park. Opening up more space, lines, more parking. Hopefully uh, some more parking. Yeah. More parking. <laughs> I guess people are going to have to start carpooling because we're yeah. running out of space. Oh, yeah. Uh, this property we're we're dealing with about three to four acres right now right there's about 11 more back into the woods i think it only gets bigger every single time it's getting bigger so i think the future is this whole yard filled with people barn oh. stock <laughs> oh wow we're out of town um musicians trying to open up just st louis possibly the Midwest and having touring bands from our scenes come out and see this place and hopefully by bringing those touring acts out they'll bring more people out to the local scenes and the local scene can get more expo on themselves. I've never seen uh, so many people down for something so um, I don't know down for something so weird it's it's just weird. That's just, and it's just perfect the best music experience you'll ever have in your life. It's, it's the best. That's all I can say. 
is truly the best.